Are you ready? Okay. We'll wait for my friend. Awesome. Good morning, gents. Good morning, Mr. Shepard. So, introduction to trigonometry, and we usually call it trig. Who has heard of it before? Okay, what have you heard about it? Um, you've just heard the name? Anyone knows what it's about? Yes? Something about triangles, yes. Is it involved trying to find or use the angle of the right angle triangles? Yes, right we do work uh, with right angles this year and it has something to do with sides and angles. So we remember doing Pythagoras? Yes. We use right, a right angle to triangles? Yes. 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 No talk about this. And Pythagoras could only be used to find the missing lengths. Did we mention any angles other than that it was a right angle triangle? No, but with trigonometry, we can use basically it works in any triangle. But right now, we're going to learn about right angle triangles only and how do we find missing lengths and angles using trigonometry. Okay, so first of all, you need to understand a right angle triangle. So, a right angle triangle will have a 90. Yes, so let's say I've got two right angle triangles, one's a bit bigger. But all the angles are the same. So 90, 90, 30, 30. What will be the third one? What will be this angle equal to? 60. 60. Awesome. How did you figure that out? Uh, 30, 60. Yep, so all angles in a triangle must add up to? 180. 180. Now, I'll give you an activity later to do at home as well. I'd like you to draw these uh, triangles actually. So draw 90 degree, 90, 30, 60, this triangle. And then draw another triangle with the same angles, however, different sides. Okay? Now, what you'll figure out is, for example, if this side was 4 centimeters, this would be 8. If this was 6, this would be 12. Okay? So you can check it. That will be your homework for tonight. However, just trust me for now. I've drawn it myself. If this is 4, this will be 8. If this is 6, that will be 12. What can you say? What, what, what's the relationship between the sides? It's half. Yes? So can we say that this side is half the other one? Yes. Yes? Yes. And isn't it the same? Yes. Yeah. If I change this angle, do you think the ratio will remain the same? No. No. So we have certain ratios in a right angle triangle that are constant. Doesn't matter what happens to the sides, as long as the angles are the same, the ratios will be the same. Okay? Now, so there are certain names we give them, uh, uh, give those ratios. So I'm going to introduce you to those names and what those ratios are. So the first thing is we label the sides of the triangle properly. Remember when we used Pythagoras, it was important to label the sides, which side is C, which side is A, which side is B. Yeah. Similarly, there's different kind of labels here, but the first step for any Pythagoras, for any trig question is labeling your triangle properly. It is very important. You should not skip that. So for now, we're only dealing with the 30 degree angle. So I'm going to wipe that off. Okay? Now, according to my given angle, I need to label my triangle. The first side that we label is the hypotenuse again. So, isn't hypotenuse the side opposite to the 90 degrees angle? Yes. Is it the longest side? Yes. We've done that. So, label that as H. Right? We happy with that? Now, there's two other sides, adjacent and opposite. Opposite to the angle. So opposite to the 30 degree angle. Is it this side the opposite? Yes. So we should label it as O. So for this one, opposite to the 30 degree angle. This is the side, label it as O. What does adjacent mean? Adjacent. You're sitting adjacent to him. You're sitting next to him. So isn't this side adjacent to the angle? Next to the angle? So we call it the adjacent side. And the labeling is complete. Any questions on shh? Any questions on how to label? So what's the first side we label? Hypotenuse. Then opposite is opposite to what? Angle. angle. Adjacent is the side touching the angle, next to the angle. Are we all clear on that? Yes. Yes. Now once we've done that, there's a ratio.
ratio called the sine ratio, and it's spelled as S I N E. But we don't write S I N E, we just write S I N, and never ever call it sin. I don't like it. It's sine. What is it called? Sine. Sine of an angle. So this is the angle I'm after. So sine of 30 degrees is actually the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse. So sine of angle, this would be equal to O divided by H. Let's see what that is. So O is 4. H is 8. So what's sine 30? Half. So in this triangle, sine 30? O over H. 6 over 12. Half. Take your calculators out, either the cats or the green one, put sine 30 degrees and see what you get. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So in that, do the trick button, press the trick button. Trick. Sign, not sin. We don't sin in my class. Sign it is. Your calculator should be in the degree mode. Sign 30, enter. You should be able to see D E G. I'll check that later. R N D is radian. Use your green calculator for now. Sign 30. Did anyone get 0.5? Did anyone get 0.5? Half. Did anyone get it? Yep. So what sign 30? Half. Okay. Now, calculators down, please. Calculators down. Now, what if I was dealing with a 60 degree angle? So this was my 60 degree angle. We all agree with that? Yeah. This is the 60 degree angle. Now, won't our labels change? Yeah. Yes? Now, we've changed the angle, we need to label it again. Hypotenuse is the same, isn't it? Yeah. But isn't this side touching the angle? So this is adjacent and this is opposite. This is adjacent and this is opposite to the angle. Do we get that? There's another ratio called the cos ratio, the cosine ratio. So cosine is the bigger word, the actual ratio. But we use the short form, which is cos. So the cos of 60, cos of any angle, is equal to the ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse. What's the adjacent? 4. What's the hypotenuse? 8. So cos 60 is half as well. And you can check that. So, so basically in any triangle, if the angles are the same, the ratios of the sides would be the same as well, even according to the angle. Is this making some sense? So all you need to remember is labeling the triangle correctly and what are the ratios equal to. So I'm going to write them here. So sine of an angle. You know like we use x, y, z as pro numerals? Yes. For angles, we usually use theta. So this is the symbol for theta. It's just another pro numeral. You can use sine x, sine y, but theta is commonly used one, and you should be familiar with that. So sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So it's just a ratio in a triangle. Cos of an angle is equal to the length of the adjacent divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And there's another ratio called tangent or the tan ratio. It's equal to opposite over adjacent. There's more relationships between them, but we'll study them later. Is this making sense what they stand for? They're just ratios of the sides. Do you know how to label the triangles? Yes. That's all you need to know for now. How to label the triangle? Hypotenuse, opposite to the 90 degree angle. Adjacent, touching the angle. And then the third side is opposite. So that's one thing you need to remember from today's lesson. Other thing is, how do you remember which ratio is which? So the short form is so, cat, Toa. Sock cat toa. This should be written on top of every page when you're doing your trick homework. So sock means sine is O over H. Is that clear? Yeah. Cos is A over H. Tan is O over H. So all you need to remember and we'll spend
spend lots of uh, time on this topic. It's a new topic. Today we just need to understand sine, cos, and ten are just ratios of sides in a triangle. They have fixed values and these are what they stand for. And they're called sine, cos, and ten. They're short for sine, cosine, and tangent. But never ever call it sin. Is this making some sense? So the key words for today is linking the triangles and soft cat toe up. So tomorrow everyone should know what sine is equal to, what cos is equal to, what tangent is equal to. Is that clear? That's all for today.